more than $649 million. This is a larger school bond uh, for Georgetown ISD. That's how much Georgetown ISD is asking voters for during the May elections. The growth is the number one factor. Um, we are the fastest growing community in the country, and so the need to have the facilities and not have schools that are overpopulated was pretty significant, as identified by our community. GISD says it expects an additional 6,000 students over the next decade. We will have six overcrowded campuses in the next two years. Georgetown ISD Superintendent Devin Padavol says the bonds would build a new high school middle school and elementary school, plus renovate athletic and performing arts facilities while also considering security concerns. We can't do anything unless staff, students and parents feel safe in our schools. Six of its schools would get new entrances with either bulletproof dividers or doors visitors must buzz to enter. So we're actually redoing the entrance to make sure that uh, our schools are absolutely safe, that uh, any kind of intruder or a visitor with ill intent uh, cannot get into our school, into an office, into the building uh, without us having those safeguards into place. The school district also says it hopes to purchase new and improved technology for its students too. But of course, all of that adds up for voters. If approved, the district says it will likely cost about an extra $2.77 a month for the average home. We have seen the cost of building go up um, in the last several years, and that number continues to soar. Right now, uh, whatever the cost of a school is, it is reasonable to assume that in a couple years it'll be even more.